This video is just to show you how to set up your calendar sync between Podio Calendar and Google Calendar. So right now I'm looking at my Podio Calendar and I see this by clicking here on the top blue bar, just click on that calendar icon. And then you can see here, these are all my Podio items that relate directly to me, as well as my Google Calendar um, things, my Google Calendar items. So like, for example, um, this is something that came from my Google Calendar, so you can't open it in Podio, but you can see it. Um, and then if you want to actually see it, you have to say go to event, and then it'll take you to Google Calendar where you can see the details about it. Um, then some of these items, uh, these green ones, are actually Podio items. So if you click on it, you will go to the, to the thing in Podio itself. Um, and the Google ones, I imported to Podio so that they show up here. And actually, I'll make a separate video perhaps on how to do that. But this video, I just want to show how to um, export your items from Podio to Google Calendar. So to do that, you're going to just click on this little wrench and make sure that the level of items that you want, um, well, actually not here, but here it just is when you, where it says show, um, this is what's going to actually show on your calendar in Podio. So for example, if I want to see everything uh, date related in all the workspaces I'm a member of, I can just click that and it's going to show me in our case, every um, project, like every deliverable, everything from every um, workspace that we have, like not even just the ones that I'm in, sorry. Um, and then, or I can say that I'm following, that's going to narrow it down, or that are involving and related to me, that's way less, but it still does show like the projects that I'm, um, that I'm involved in. And then, but what I want in this case is just those directly involving me. And then you can choose whether or not you want to include tasks. Uh, I think it's a good idea to include tasks because if someone assigns you something that is um, time specific, it's good to have that synced with your Google Calendar. And you can also set up alerts on Google um, that might be easier to work with than the alerts from Podio. But um, basically, once you decide what you want to export to your external calendar, um, well, actually, you're going to do that here. After you, you click on Export to External Calendar, then you're going to choose your calendar. Like in my case, I use Google Calendar. And then here you're going to choose, in my case, I want directly involving me and including tasks. And then here it would normally say Export, but in my case, I already did export, so it doesn't say that. Um, and then once you do that, if you go to your Google Calendar, which is here, you can see these red things. This is this week. The red things are things from Podio. Now, one thing you'll notice is on Monday, I don't have anything on my uh, Google Calendar, even though on Podio, um, I do have something on Monday. I have this test interview. Um, and the reason for that is because I exported it. And then when I went to Google Calendar, I decided to delete it. But when you delete from Google Calendar, it does not delete from Podio. So basically when you create a new event or item in Podio with that has a time reference that, that is exported to your calendar, it'll export it one time. Um, but if you delete it from Google Calendar, it'll be it, it's not a two-way sync. So it won't like if you delete it from Google Calendar, it will not delete from Podio. And the only way to like get it back as far as I know is either to create it manually or to delete the item on Podio and recreate it on Podio. So um just something to keep in mind. It hasn't been an issue for me so far, and I think um, that is pretty much what you need to know. Uh, I hope this is helpful, and talk to you later.